is there one person that like especially influenced you like when you were younger or even now in music like one person that just always kept you going um i mean i'm in, i'm inspired by a lot of musicians uh i honestly i think the people that have kept me the most like enthusiastic and like I don't know. Probably my parents. Honestly. Parents. My parents. They've always been super supportive and definitely wouldn't be anywhere without them, so. That's good. Um, how do you like all of the like the all of a sudden fame that you've certainly gained? Just all of a sudden. Um I'm like how has that affected your day to day life and stuff? I mean it's not it's not that extreme yet. <laughs> but um well, I mean I've been I, I think it's really cool. I've, I've been recognized a couple times, like, in some weird places, and it's just, like, it's a really cool feeling. It's like, wow, I can't believe you know who I am. It's so cool. I mean, I definitely, a lot of people say that, like, they don't like fame and stuff, but I, I wouldn't necessarily, like, I don't want it, but it's, it's nice to be able to connect with people you have no idea who, who they are, you know? So. Yeah. Well, that's pretty cool. I think it's very cool. Um, so is it at all hard for you adjusting? Um, is it hard to adjust to it at all? Not really. No. <laughs> Are you a chocolate person or a vanilla person? Vanilla. Vanilla, me too. All the way. I guess. All the way. Any reason why or just because it tastes better? Like, I don't really like artificial chocolate. Like It's just like a weird taste. Like chocolate ice cream and like... I don't know. I just don't. I don't really like it very much. I like like Hershey's chocolate bars and stuff. But that's like real chocolate, you know? Yeah, I guess you're right. Sure. I like the flavor of it. Pepsi person. Um I think I think Coke. I like Mountain Dew though, and that's like Pepsi, so I don't know. But Coke is like the cola of choice between Coke and Pepsi. Um, is there one thing that you just need to accomplish before you die? Um you already met Taylor Swift, you see, so... <laughs> I've, I've always wanted to um, be a voiceover in a Pixar movie, like, for a character. It's, it's like, something I'm really trying to do, like, before I die, so... Wow, that was, that was an unexpected answer. That's really cool. <laughs> yeah, it's, like, it's been something I've always wanted to do, so I'm going to try and do it. Very cool, very cool. Um, now, this is our What Would You Rather segment, and these are some pretty intense questions, so I wanted to ask, are you prepared? I'm prepared. Okay. <laughs> wow, I said that with no hesitation at all. <laughs> um, would you rather shower old people, like how they do at nursing homes, or dress dead people? Um, I probably probably dress dead people. Dead people. I think it would cut down on the awkwardness. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I I agree. <laughs> would you rather have your whole body potato peeled, like with a potato peeler, or have your whole body cheese grated? Holy shit. <laughs> um, <laughs> is there a neither choice? <laughs> that's, that's, that's like, that's horrible. I think, whole body, yeah. I think the potato peel would like, would go faster, so probably the oh. potato peel. It probably would go faster. Yeah, who it would hurt real bad. Yeah, it would be very um, painful. Rather have a theme song play to all of your actions, or have your whole life narrated by someone with the lips. Uh, definitely, definitely the uh, first one. The first one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the reason why, or you just would think it would be pretty cool to have music play twenty four seven. Well, music is awesome. So yeah. <laughs> Would you, are you the type of person that would rather take freezing cold showers, like freezing, like ice cold, or like blazing, burning hot showers? Probably, um, probably really hot ones. Probably really hot ones? Yeah. Even if it like gave you like third degree burns? Mmm, if it was, uh... If you like blistered my skin, I'd probably go with the cold shower. <laughs> but <laughs> both would be very uncomfortable. Both would be very uncomfortable. 
Would you rather always lose or never play? Always lose. Always lose? Wow, really? Yeah. Yeah, well, life, life is too short to not, like, experience things, and if you couldn't play anything, then maybe you're boring. What would you do? <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah, that's probably what I would pick. Would you rather be friendless or have friends that secretly hate you? Friendless. Friendless? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess I would, too. It would um, limit on the shadiness and gossip and stuff. Definitely. Would you rather be able to fly or be invisible on command? Oof. That's tough. Isn't that a tough one? I think I think flying would be way cooler than being invisible. See, I would have to disagree with you because I think being invisible, I think it'd be awesome because I can just kind of be wherever. You know, but you could just go anywhere you wanted. Be like, hey, I'm gonna go to Australia. See ya. Just fly. <laughs> It'll be awesome. <laughs> that would be pretty tight, though. That would be pretty cool. Yeah. Would you rather be hatefully remembered? Or forgotten. Just just after you die, just be forgotten. Forgotten. Forgotten? Mm -hmm. that's, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's a pretty good one. Uh, 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 we're not going to forget you. Oh, so. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'd, I'd much rather be ha er, forgotten than hated. <laughs> well, that, that pretty much uh, finishes up our interview. And I want to thank you so much for taking the time to chat with us. Awesome. Of course. You. No problem. Really, thanks you. We really appreciate it. <laughs> thank you well, guys thank for, you yeah. Thank you so much. Thanks.